For the very first time, we've just seen an image that contains both the shadow of a supermassive black hole and the incredibly powerful jet being expelled from the black hole too. This is the black hole and jet at the centre of the galaxy M87. It's 6.5 billion times more massive than our sun and it's very photogenic. The observations used to make this image were taken back in 2018 by telescopes all around the world. But processing and finalising an image like this is very hard and takes a lot of time. The group of telescopes includes the Global Millimeter Very Large Baseline Interferometry Array, the Atacama Large Millimeter Array and the Greenland Telescope. It might remind you of another black hole image taken by the Event Horizon Telescope or EHT. They've actually released images of two black holes. One is the supermassive black hole at the centre of our own Milky Way galaxy. But the first one they ever released was the same M87 supermassive black hole that we're seeing here. There are some differences, but it's the same black hole target. EHT is also a global network of telescopes that observes black holes for many hours each night and combines all of the data to make the incredibly difficult image of a black hole shadow. Using telescopes around the world in this way basically lets us act as if we have one Earth-sized telescope, albeit one with a few holes in it. A telescope this big allows us to collect enough light to image the incredibly faint areas around black holes. They might be supermassive in mass, but they're the densest things in the universe, meaning they're relatively small in radius and so are very hard to image, especially since this one is 55 million light years away. They all look very small on the sky. The supermassive black hole in our galaxy looks incredibly small as well. Just look at this zoom in comparing it to the moon. I have a full video all about the exact setup that EHT uses if you want to know more details. Link up here and in the description of this video. This new image has been made in a very similar way, although it was made using longer wavelengths of radio light, with a wavelength of 3.5 millimeters instead of 1.3 millimeters like EHT used. At this longer wavelength, we're able to see both the ring of matter around the black hole and the powerful jet coming from the black hole too. This allows researchers to study the mysterious nature of black hole jets. You see, black holes are usually known as being inescapable cosmic behemoths. So the fact they can also eject some of the most powerful jets of energy in the universe is an interesting contrast. These jets don't come from inside the event horizon of the black hole, but they seem to be blasted away from the poles of the outside of the black hole. Their exact nature is unknown and is an ongoing mystery in cosmology, but hopefully images like this will help us understand exactly what causes them. We've seen jets before, we've even seen this exact jet in images before, and we've also seen the ring around a black hole before. But until now, we'd never seen them both in the same image. It's like we're getting a panorama of a supermassive black hole for the very first time. And we're actually seeing the base of the jet connect to the matter swirling around the black hole. In this image, the jet does look a little more jellyfish-like than in other images. There seems to be three arms rather than the usual one. But we think it's all related to the same physics. Exactly what's going on, I'm not sure, but hopefully we'll learn more in the future. Let's take a closer look at that swirling ring around the black hole we're seeing matter orbiting the supermassive black hole incredibly fast, heating up as it spins and glowing very brightly. In the center is what we call the shadow of the black hole. We can't see a black hole since it absorbs everything, even light, but we can see the shadow it casts against this bright ring as it absorbs and blocks some of that light being emitted. It even bends some of the light to help create the ring shapes, really demonstrating the gravitational power of a black hole. The ring and shadow are visible in this new image and in the older EHT image. But something interesting is that the ring in the new image is about 50% larger than the ring seen in the EHT one. We currently believe this is just a result of being able to see more material around the black hole with this setup. I think there are a few reasons that this could be the case. Either the material further out just glows much brighter in the slightly longer wavelengths of light that this collaboration is looking in, or the telescopes are more sensitive than the EHT setup. Up. It's even possible that more material has simply accumulated around the black hole. Since the EHT image was taken in 2017, 
and this data was taken in 2018. The exact reason isn't known yet, but it's certainly an interesting find. In the future, more observations will continue to be used to image the black hole in a wide range of wavelengths to keep studying the ring and the jet, and hopefully eventually allow us to fully unravel the mysteries of the complex environments around a black hole. Leave any questions you have in the comments below, and be sure to check out the videos on screen if you'd like to know more about black hole jets or the process behind taking these black hole images. Until next time, stay safe team. I'll see you soon. Bye.